So the basics. Um, if you've done ads before, I apologize, this is probably very obvious, but you, you create ads based on your business goals. So what do you want to achieve? Start to think about your objectives. You can target people based on age, gender, location, plus their interests. Uh, you can promote content on your page so that it goes to a wider audience. And then again, use, use Facebook advertising to achieve your goals. So what, what are your goals? Is it that you want to get more people to your website? Do you want to get people to sign up to a newsletter? Do you want to you know, ultimately, I suppose, get bookings? Uh, and what are those stages in that process? So start to map out that process and then use Facebook to help you with that process. Um, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen there, you'll see um, the option to create adverts. So if you've never done an ad, you'll see that it's on the top right-hand side of your page. There's a little drop-down arrow and then an option to create adverts. Um, if, if you've already done that, you'll, you'll know where to find that, but that's there. So once you want to get started, so I'm really going to take you through exactly how to do an advert. So go to create adverts and then choose your objective. So the big long list of objectives that you can choose, whether that's boost your post, promote your page. So promoting your page essentially increases the number of page likes that you have. Do you want to send people to your website? Do you want to increase conversions on your website? They're probably the most popular options in terms of objectives that I've heard photographers using. Um, conversions on your website basically means you, know, you want your potential client or your existing customer to take some sort of action on your website. So whether that's the sign up for a newsletter or for our website, for example, with the 3XM solution, we want people to, to check out. So we have conversions up on our website. We measure checkouts. Um, so, so these are things that you can start to do. So initially, I suppose you probably start with boost your posts, um, promote your page, and probably send people to your website. So then you've got to select an audience for your ads. So I've met, a lot, again, a lot of photographers across the UK in particular, um, and they, they target the entire country. So their, their country is set to United Kingdom. Um, their studio might be in central London. So people are not going to travel that far to come into your studio. So you need to really look at you know, where your, your sort of location is and how far people are going to be willing to travel. So you can narrow it down to city or region or a county. You can add you know, plus 10 miles, plus 20 miles, plus 50 miles, whatever that radius happens to be, but narrow it down. Don't leave it completely broad because then you're just wasting your money. And change the age, you know, if, if your kind of age profile for your customers is between, you know, 26 and 35, change the age to between 26 and 35. If you only ever get bookings from women, change the gender to women and so on. So you can really narrow it down here. So this is where you start to really target down and change your audience and, and target for success. Um, if you're unsure, just start with what you think is right. You can always go in and tweak it and change it as you go. Um, just check if there's any questions so far. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you a question, Jenny. Whenever you say about changing it, is it sort of true that you're going to see very quickly with Facebook ads whether it's working or not? And, you know, just to keep an eye on it and watch the stats come in, really? And um, Well, I suppose, it, basically, the way Facebook works is once they have 30 conversions, so once 30 people connect with that ad, they, they generally know your audience much, much better, and then it performs even better. So I would definitely, I would say one day is, is never long enough. Um, when, when you hit 30, so if you have 30 likes, for example, you'll know that then Facebook knows who your audience are because they, they will then start to optimize it. So yes, keep an eye on it, you know, monitor it as it goes. If it's doing really bad, if nobody's interacting with it, if you're having no res responses after sort of two to three days, something's not right. Um, so, you know, go in and tweak it or change it. Okay, so 30 is the magic number. 30 is the magic number. So <laughs> a little tip, and this is what I sometimes do. So I always say start with your budget small, and then as it works and as you know something's working well, then increase your budget. But sometimes what I do to try and trick Facebook a little bit is I start with a really high budget to get you that 30, and then I reduce it right down, because then what happens is it works much quicker. Mm -hmm. So 30 is the magic number. Once Facebook have 30 people interact with your ad, they know who your potential audience is, and then they optimize the ad much better. That's a little tip.